Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Brandon, back again with another video, and today we are talking about art books. I love art books. I've been collecting these things for a little while now. I have a small, decent collection, but I absolutely love these things. As of right now, with my space, I only can collect certain ones, so they need to check all the boxes uh, on my list for me to go ahead and buy it. But here are some of the art books in my collection, and these are why I love collecting art books, and maybe why you should as well. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite art book is. Do you collect art books? Are you interested at all in this? Uh, and then with that being said, let's get into the video. As I said in my video game box art video, I don't collect physical media anymore. I still buy the occasional Blu-ray or 4K special edition for a movie I love, but I stopped collecting physical media. Modern video games, movies, TV shows, you name it. If the digital format is that much better, there isn't a reason to keep collecting some of these things. Anyways, with art books, there are so many great things about them, and they harken back to my video on video game box art. We see the beautiful covers almost as a celebration or something to draw you in, like a favorite movie or video game series, and then when you open them up, that's where they can shine. Let's look at a few of these art books, and we can discuss why I love them so much. Starting with the Ultimate Jurassic Park visual history book, there are so many interactions and behind the scenes knowledge I never knew. And most of these art books have a foreword from an actor, friend, fan, and so on. They usually hit home right before your journey across the pages of the book you read. For example, Sam Neill, the actor who played Alan Grant, did a foreword to this book. And it's just so awesome to read this kind of stuff. You can find some of this stuff on a website or a YouTube video, but there's something about interacting with the pages and seeing everything in person. One of my favorite aspects of this book is that it breaks down all the three Jurassic Park films into sections, and it even has a video game section for all of the Jurassic Park games that were made. Sidestepping to other art books based on films like this beautiful Blade Runner 2049 art book and this massive Star Wars Blueprints book, there are art books of all shapes and sizes, and some are sometimes shrunken down from what they call a coffee table book to a more easily handed book size like this Star Wars Archives book. I love all these various dimensions of these books, sometimes even the smallest of books still have a lot of information. Like this one I got many years ago featuring my favorite video game company's roster at the time, Capcom's 30th anniversary character encyclopedia. I love books like this, where they just throw all this information at you, all these character programs profiles and you're able just to flip every page and get different artwork see what game they're from see their history what video games you can play with them in this stuff is awesome Sometimes you will see books littered with every detail of the given property, and it's so much to take in, but so exciting to read about how they wanted to design this or provide this desired effect with this scene and so on. Concept art is a huge interest of mine, and being able to see the thought process of how characters would start out and then evolve into something after continually trying to improve their design, I love this shit. My favorite company that feels like a tribute every time I open one of their art books is Udon. This company makes flawless art books. If you love Japanese video games or art, there is something here for everyone. My experience with Udon is mostly through being a fan of Capcom video games. They have made so many art books featuring the many properties of Capcom. I even have a few Sega Persona books as well, but the artwork is gorgeous. Showing everything from concept art to stage design, character history, and more, Udon made a trilogy of Capcom art books a few years ago, and I still flip through them from time to time to see all the different artworks and the history of my favorite video games. The biggest problem with art books shares the same thing that physical media has, and that is space. We all want to have space, but these items are of different sizes and can take up space so quickly. I love collecting these books, but especially right now I need to be bold about what to manage because of the limited space I currently have in my collection. So in closing, I love art books. Every time I come across something interesting, I may pick it up. I've seen many books out in the wild that I had to pass on temporarily, like the many video game concepts, the movie tributes, and more. There are so many art books I can't wait to get once I have a little more space, but I love collecting an impressive art book. And that's it for this episode today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love art books and I would love some more. There's like a Doom Eternal book and there's so many other video game and movie books that I would love to have in my collection. But like I said, space is such a problem. Also, sometimes these things can be pretty pricey. There is a table version, a coffee table version 
of the Star Wars archives, which I would love to upgrade my small one to the big one. And there also was a prequel version as well. And I think there's like retro Star Wars art that was like concept art for the original trilogy, which I freaking love. Uh, but that book is very expensive as well. These things are pricey and you need space to have all of them. So maybe one day in the future I can do an updated video on art books and my art book collection. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brandon and I will see you all next time.